You've heard all about this email marketing. You think that you're ready to dive in, but you're not exactly sure where to get started. Well, that's okay, because today I'm going to be taking you through the basics of email marketing, why it's important for your business, and how to get started setting up your first welcome sequence using Flowdesk. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Hey! If this is our first time meeting, my name is Amanda Schumann. I am the designer and strategist behind Carrie Love Designs. We help creative businesses who have outgrown their brand or know that their brand has taken them as far as it can and they're ready to reach that next stage in business and grow it even bigger. And today we're going to be taking you through email marketing using Flowdesk. So the first thing that I want to help you set up is under understanding the basics of email marketing and how it can help you in your business. And then I'll take you into Flowdesk and show you how you can set up your first welcome sequence inside the app. So before we dive in to creating your first welcome sequence, it's good to have a basic understanding of why email marketing is good for your business and how we can use it to grow our business and use it for sales. So I want to know, let me know in the comments below, have you started growing an email list yet? And if you haven't, let me know in the comments, what holds you back from starting your email list? I'm betting that if you're watching this, you've had some hesitations and now you're getting ready to dive in. And so we want to be making sure that we understand what the purpose of our email list is for. And the first reason is client communication. So do you remember whenever Facebook and Instagram went down and everybody freaked out because they had no way to contact their audience? Well, that's whenever email marketing stepped in. You saw a lot of big influencers be like, oh, I'm okay, I got my email list. And so that's the first reason. For Instagram and Facebook, you don't own those followers. So an email list is an asset to your business because you own those email addresses. You can contact these people whenever you want to. So that's one of the main benefits of having an email list now, email marketing helps you move a follower to a potential client. So I want to show this to you. The first part of a buyer journey is going to be the awareness stage. So that's whenever they are following you on social media. Uh, they're checking out your videos on YouTube. Hello. Um, and they're reading your Instagram post and blog post. The second stage is whenever they jump from that follower to on your newsletter or attending an event or a webinar. So they went from the awareness stage into the consideration. And so from the consideration through the webinars, the newsletter list, they can be moved from consideration to the decision buying making process. And so whenever somebody signs up for your email list, they are moving from awareness to consideration. And then whenever you send emails asking for sales, if you are selling a course or presets or mini sessions, anything like that, you're moving them from that consideration phase to the decision making phase. And so that's a very high level buyer journey that pretty much all of your clients are going to go through. Now, what would someone be considering while they're trying to decide if your service is right for them. So if you are a photographer, for an example, we want to be sending consideration emails. We want to be warming that audience up to the offer before you pitch them. I recommend sending out emails at least once a month. Um, to keep them fresh in their mind, to keep you fresh in their mind. Um, but we want to be sending out those consideration emails. And so be brainstorming. During the decision-making process, what are some questions that, that they have? What are some struggles that your ideal clients go through? And how can you be there to help them gain that know, like, and trust factor that I'm sure we've all heard? Then whenever you're finally ready to put that sales email out, you're going to start funneling them from that consideration to the decision. But we want to make sure that we are nurturing them and leading them up to that decision-making process. We don't just want to go from 
hey, you're new here. You've been commenting on my Instagram post to you ready to buy a $3,000 wedding package. There's got to be some middle stage here. And a welcome sequence is the perfect way to do that. So how do I get started? We are going to hop into Flowdesk right now and I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up your welcome sequence using Flowdesk. So let's go ahead and get on over there. So once you log into Flowdesk, you're going to see a dashboard that's going to look similar to this. If you haven't bought your Flowdesk subscription yet, you can go down into the description of this video and there will be a coupon code for you to get 50% off for life, making it only $19 a month, no matter how big your list grows. So once you have your own account, log in, you'll see a dashboard that looks like this. And we want to be setting up our welcome sequence that's going to help within the consideration phase of the buyer journey. So the place that we want to go to is workflows. We're going to work our way over to workflows. All right. So in workflows, we want to create a new one and Flowdesk makes this really easy. So we can browse all of them um, or we can start from scratch. And so we will name this welcome consideration we'll say wedding package we'll pretend that we're a wedding photographer all right so the first thing that we want to do is add in a trigger a trigger is going to be what prompts them to get on this workflow li flow list and so um, we're going to do whenever a subscriber gets added to a segment and then you can go in there and add your own segments and so I'm gonna just click one and hit save the next step that we want to do is add in a time condition if we need to and if then, but usually if they're subscribing, we want to send them an email right away. So we're just going to set up an email and we're going to create a new one. And they make it super easy because what we can do is go over here to up my email game tab and they have all of these templates already pre-made so you can give your offer, you can have a freebie, um, favorite resources. The first thing that you're probably gonna wanna do is either if you had an offer or a freebie that you told them that you would drop them, then you probably wanna use the freebie. If not, then you can do a welcome letter. So we'll go with welcome letter. You can scroll through and see more of it and see how beautiful the templates are and then we'll hit customize. So what we would do from here is go through and customize it. I'm not gonna spend too much time customizing this because I have another tutorial where I go into more details of it. Um, I'll link that one down in the comments below. So if you want to um, know the reasons why I switched to Flowdesk and how to, how to customize these a little bit more, definitely check out that tutorial. So um, I'll go through and pretend like I customized this. One of the really cool things is that you can connect your Instagram and then change out the, um, it's like a live feed. So these are the three posts that I've already um, changed out. So then we'll hit next. And then what we're going to do is just hit save. And you can change the um, sender preview and text preview, like what it says as the subject line in the preview text. Um, so that's really good to go through and change, but for sake of time, we're gonna go through, and the next thing that we wanna do is add in a time delay. So this time delay keeps it from sending out all of these emails at one time. So for the next time delay, we'll say let's wait 20, I think you can do days, but whatever. I'll do 24 hours and then hit save. And then after 24 hours, we're gonna want them to send out another email. So we'll hit create new, Go down to the up my email game and then let's do an let's see the next one that you probably want to do is going into like a little bit more of a client story um, or digging in like a little bit deeper and so we'll do a personal vulnerable story so you can go through that one we'll hit customize go through and customize the template to your branding and then we're gonna hit next after you've done that. Change out your sender 
preview text, hit save, and then let's add in another time delay. So let's say, let's delay another 24 hours. And then after that 24 hours is up, we're gonna send them another email. So let's hit create new email, up my email game. Let's do a, let's say that we're ready to make that offer. Let's, so let's go through, we're gonna do make an offer. So let's say that maybe the offer is a free engagement session whenever they sign up to one of your wedding packages. So we would go through, customize this for that offer. Hit next, fill out your sender preview text. And then let's say that in that email, you said that the offer was good for three days. So during that time, we're probably gonna wanna send one more email just to remind them. So if you said three days, let's send them another email in 24 hours. We're going to send an email. Let's see, let's go to the up my email game letter one. Um, let's do, we're going to do an about me. And this could be like a client story. So maybe it's not about you, but maybe you're going to do a shout out and tell a little bit about a client story. So let's go ahead. You'd fill that all out. We're going to hit next. Remember to fill out the sender preview text. And then... So it's been 24 hours, so let's wait and let's do 36 hours. Because remember that that uh, free engagement session is gonna be ending. So then let's do an email, create a new email. Let's do up my email game. And then we're gonna do the offer is ending. All right, so the offer is ending now. If they miss out, then they're not gonna get their free engagement session. And then what we wanna do is add in, we can add in an if then. So we can say, if the subscriber has opened, the offer is ending, then yes, they opened up the offer is ending. Um, then we can send them like a more specific email. If they did not, then you can send them another email. Um, and so let's say that I'm going to delete this step just because I want to show you like the ending part. So what I would end with. So the offer is ending. You went in there, you added your if then. If not, oh, we got to add in our time delay. So we're going to add in a time delay. We're going to say wait. So the offer is ending. Let's wait another 24 hours. The, the offer is dead by then. It no longer exists. And by then, you're still going to keep them on your list. So what you can send out, maybe they didn't take you up on that offer, but what you can send out is um, either a what to expect email or you can do the resources. And with this resources, just give them some really helpful content that they would, maybe it's uh, your favorite engagement session spots, maybe it's a free wedding timeline template or a shot list, anything like that, you can start adding value. So maybe they didn't book you right now or they didn't get on a consultation call with you right now, but you're providing a little bit more value. And then once they get off that onboarding sequence, they'll automatically drop off and then continue to keep emailing them, um, you know, every week or so, or maybe it's once a month. Just continue to provide relevant content to them. And that is how you create your first welcome sequence. So we're going to hit the next thing and you'll have the opportunity to publish now. That easy. It was seriously that easy to create your first welcome sequence and I'm sure you had a ton of fun doing it. So if you like this video, go ahead and tap that subscribe button because there will be more helpful content coming out about branding, website design, marketing, and of course, more Flowdesk tutorials. In the next video that I would recommend you watch if you're diving into Flowdesk is the one where I show you the reasons why I switched and I go into a little bit more detail about how to brand and set up your own emails um, and how to customize it a little bit more. So go ahead and tap that video to watch it next.